Well, welcome to Ask the Linwood Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple, and hello, Sergeant Lincoln. Hello. So I heard from you that you have a new program at Linwood Police Department, and it's called Cops and Clergy, and that's an interesting, catchy title. Tell me more about that. We're real, we're real excited about this program. It's it's uh, an idea that we borrowed from Bothell, but it's actually a, a, a national program that's been started by many local agencies, uh, local police departments, sheriff's departments throughout the country. Uh, where we're trying to connect with our faith communities and we understand the important role they play in in bringing and building our communities you know police are responsible for making our communities safe but we really understand the foundation and how important it is uh, the, the role that our faith community plays in in maintaining and building that safe community because so, they have a lot of interactions with people that might do. be before it gets to the point where somebody would call the police, right? Absolutely. And, yeah. and many times, they're the first point of contact when somebody is experiencing some issue in their life, whether it be domestic violence, whether it's depression, um, a potential for someone becoming suicidal, uh, whether they have other uh, needs that are right. related to uh, joblessness, other things that can, that can spiral out of control. People normally go to their faith leaders. And so what we want to do is we want to serve as a resource to the faith leaders. We want to help provide them with some training that's going to make them more skilled mm -hmm. in dealing with a lot of these daily human issues that come up. Suicide prevention, uh, depression, recognizing uh, signs of mental illness and how to navigate those waters and how to provide the right resources. Domestic violence is another thing that yeah. comes up. No, no faith is immune from the dynamics of domestic violence. We want to see if we can get our, our, the members of our clergy, our, our faith leaders, equipped with the training where they can help direct people towards the appropriate resources and serve them appropriately. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's a really neat program and we're really excited to bring it on board. It's all about building those relationships. And what we're looking for in return is really just an ability to recognize a face, somebody that we can call in a time of great need when we have some sort of natural disaster, when we have some other great community need. It's nice to be able to call on people from our faith communities, our leaders in the community, and have them serve as a resource for, for uh, those who might be in need. So okay. whether it's their own uh, their own members or, or other members in the okay. community. So. That's great. Well, that sounds like a great partnership. And um, if uh, anybody needs to learn more about that, would there be a number that they should call? They could call me. Just call the direct number, okay. or 670-5600. And ask for you? Yeah. Okay. We'll make so, sure we have that great. information available, too. All, All right. right. Good. Thanks. Thanks very much. We'll be back again soon with another episode of Ask the Linwood Cop.